Fabian Shah, how are you, sir? How's everything in Newcastle? Uh, hi, um, thanks a lot. Everything is, is great. Um, obviously, we had a good start in the season and it makes it a bit easier. Yeah, how are the, the new signings settling in? There's a real excitement, a real buzz around your club right now. Yeah, I mean, great. Uh, you see the addition we had, um, the quality they add as, as a players, but also like as a person. Uh, I think they settled in very well and um, yeah, happy to have, have them here. How have, how have you helped them settle in the area of Newcastle? Have you been taking anybody out to dinner? Or I don't know, some sort of uh, activities like go-karts or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, to be fair, yeah. Um, so we played uh, a golf with one of the lads uh, on a free day or, or went for dinner as well. So we have, we have a group who sometimes do, do things like going for dinner or, or for coffee. And obviously everyone is welcome to, to join and um, you just help them where you can also like with uh, finding a house or where where's the best to live and, and things like this and um, just just small things. You would know more about this than me, but I stand by my belief that Newcastle as a city and the people are one of the friendliest in the UK. My wife studied in Newcastle for five years. She loves the city and I feel the same way. Do you think the players are feeling the love from all the fans as much as, as I can guess they're getting? Yeah, I mean... What you say is 100% right. Um, I always say this uh, to my family, like um, the people here are so friendly and helpful and um, make it uh, very easy to to settle in as, as a player. And obviously as a player, you feel the love, uh, especially uh, in the moment where everyone is excited and what's happening about the club and our team. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, uh, very nice to to live in an area with such uh, kind people and i i feel very comfortable have you adapted have all the new signings who are there much shorter period than you are adapted to the geordie accent and geordie slang because my wife took about a year to adapt to people calling her pet i'm four years here i still not adapted that <laughs> it's difficult to be fair i mean um no, I, I, it's, it's much easier than on, on, on the first day, but still sometimes uh, it feels a bit like different language, but uh, I quite like it, to be fair. Yeah, same. Exactly the same as me. Uh, what about within the team? Are you enjoying the challenge of proving yourself to the manager um, amidst the potential of another player challenging you for a spot in the starting eleven? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what happened... Or, on the level you know um, we sign players we good players coming into the team and you just try to do the best so you can stay in the team and and and, and show the manager there's no no way to to come uh, around you you know and I just try to play my best football and to help the team and obviously the first day uh, two two games were, were quite positive as a team and as an individual and um, yeah, I'm just Looking, f looking forward for the next next weeks and concentrate on, on, on me personal to to be on a on a high level. You mentioned you've been there for four years, so you would have a good idea of this. The mood within the Newcastle team is it the best you've experienced since you joined the club? Yeah, hundred um, percent. So since the last few months, where we uh, obviously enjoy football and 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 playing good football, winning games and, and, and the thing what happened in the club and in the team uh, just exciting and the team spirit is, is uh, very good and yeah, what you say I have to say is 100% true, yeah. What about Eddie Howe himself, the manager? What did he do in the side in terms of training and tactics and motivation that changed your season last time out? Because before he arrived, it, it wasn't going great, let's be honest. But after he arrived, particularly after he had a bit of time to settle in, your form has been phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, I probably could speak a long time about what, what he changes, you know. I think uh, when he came in, we were in a very different situation, uh, not just the way we play, also like mentally. Um, and he just tried to change so many things and, and the way we play and the the confidence we should have and he he gives the player um, 
uh, it's so different and obviously then when you start to win games you, f you get to get your confidence back and you can improve your um, your performances and, and the way you play and obviously is, is a big part of, 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 of him and, and the, the coaching stuff that we are now in this position where we are and um, we just keep doing what we do. Do you enjoy taking a team picture after a victory as well? It's something he changed as well, yes, obviously. Um, uh, so we, when we win a game, we do a, a team picture and I think it's, it's quite a nice idea. Yeah. I want to speak a little bit on individual players as well. How impressed have you been with Bruno Gamarish and how he's adapted to English football? When he first joined, he wasn't playing initially, but since then, great to watch on TV, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, he didn't need any time to to settle in. That's that's a big thing. Um, I mean, sometimes it's, it's quite hard to come from a, another league and come straight into the Premier League and then perform because it's, it's just a different league. And I think he didn't need any time. And uh, from from the first game, obviously, his performance were, were excellent and he, he make us a better team. And obviously, as a player, I really like him. He's he's a great great player and also a great person. And it's just uh, yeah, amazing to have him in the team. Uh, Joe Linton, you talk about difficult to settle from a different league to to a new country, effectively for Bruno. For Joe Linton, he's literally changing his position on the pitch. I mean, how impressed have you been with him and his conversion into this box to box midfielder? And how well do you think he's done so far in that role? Yeah, I mean, this is also like something the manager uh, made of him. I think uh, I always, I knew Joe Linton before because I played in, in Germany with him and I know the quality he has. I always knew he's a top player. He was just, um, I think, lacking of, of confidence and like one position and, and the manager changed everything. And I mean, you see him playing now, I think he's unbelievable. Um, for our team is so important and the work he put in and, and, and the position he plays is, is, is unbelievable. So um, just in a short period, he changed, changed a lot and he's been now uh, one, of, for now one of our best players, yeah. yeah. Would you say he's the best in his position in the Premier League? He's been that good. Well, that's difficult to say. I just focus on our team and he, he's a top, top player, obviously. Um, you have the top players in the Premier League, so this is a difficult question. But uh, I, I rather have him in, in our team than in someone else's team. I'm sure the same would apply to Callum Wilson as well. I mean, on his day, he's one of the Premier League's deadliest strikers. How important is it for him and the team to keep him fit for the course of the season? Yeah, I mean, he's he's a great striker. He's scoring goals, and it's what we need. Um, he's he knows where he has to be. In, in, inside the box, he knows how to score goals, and um, yeah, it's just just hopefully he can be fit. I mean, the last season was a bit difficult for him with injuries, and um, but uh, when he's fit, obviously he he's a very very good striker, and uh, we want him to be there uh, week by week. Yeah, well, I mean, someone like Kevin De Bruyne as well. Just as a as a fan of football, do you enjoy watching him play at least because he is a special talent? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, when you watch the games and the way he play football, the way he sees things, which maybe not a lot of players would see on the pitch, is is crazy. And for me, he's one of the best players in the world. And um, well, obviously now you have to play against him. It's, it's going to be very tough. But just to watch him play is uh, yeah, it's a joy. Yeah, well, Nick Pope, final question here. Nick Pope, such a brilliant performance he put on uh, on the weekend. How crucial is he to this Newcastle side now that you've seen up close what he can do? Yeah, I mean, I saw it from day, day one when he came to us, what, what keeper he can be. He's a uh, yeah, top, top uh, keeper. He plays for England, I mean. Um, and then the performance on, on Saturday was brilliant. Uh, he helped helped us to, to have a clean sheet and um, yeah, we, when we needed him, he was there and um, yeah, just happy to have him here. Perfect. Do you have a message for the Malaysian Newcastle fans? Well, hopefully um, you enjoy watching us and uh, still 
uh, cheering us and we try to, to win as well for, for Malaysia. Perfect. Speak to you soon, sir. All the best. Thanks.